Okay, hi everybody, it's Sam. Um, this is the wrap up for February, and I only read it. I on I only read one book this month. I don't know what is wrong. I think I'm in a slump. I hope I get out of it soon. But I probably should, because I'm almost done with this one book. I would have had two read this month, but you know, things happen. Oh, you know, I didn't finish this one in time. Uh, but I read this. It's The Royal Diaries, Cleopatra the Seventh, Daughter of the Nile, Egypt, 57 BC. And I really did actually like this book. I already talked about this book in another video, so I'm not going to talk too much about it. Um, but it mentions how Cleopatra met Mark Anthony before like when she was like 12 13 or something 12 13 14 or something like that and um i was like is that even really true because i thought she met him when she was like in her 20s but from what i read in this it's like mark anthony was the guy that she was really really in love with So, yeah. I actually did love this book. I like anything to do with Egyptian history. This is the book I almost finished. I was almost done with this and I just didn't get to finish it in time. I was on page 157 and uh, it's chapter 17. I really did like this book. That's the only reason I bought it. And it took me forever to even figure out what the... It took forever... For me to find out what the title of this was, I ended up having to look up, um, was it Teen Boy Kidnappings or something like that? I'm trying to remember what I, directly what I've, yeah, it had something like that, it was like something like that. And it showed me a list of kidnapping books, and this was one of them, and I was like, I don't know if this one's it, and I found it, and went, yep, that's it. I really did love this book. I still do. It's been years though since I read it. I did check out two. These are really for Patricia, but um, I kind of want to read them too. Oh my god, there's Patton. He's supposed to be asleep. It's t it's almost one. But I checked out two comic books. Um, My Little Pony, uh, Friendship is Magic Volume 4, and then... Uh, this is something new. Go well for us. It's new. Ghostbusters Volume One: Demand from the Mirror Part One. And I think they have every one of these in the library. I'm gonna try to get them, check them out for Patricia each time. Just like this. I think they have all of these too. Um, but that's all I am reading and what I'm planning to read and what I have read. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I might as well. I did uh, go to the library and I ended up purchasing, yeah, purchased three books and then somebody was giving away books for free and I decided to, no, give me a minute, <laughs> I'm trying to remember which ones it was. And, um, some, you know, they were selling some there and then they were giving some away for free. And I purchased these, and I can't believe these were there. Two of them are new, and it's going all over BookTube, which is great that I finally got me a copy. But I got furiously, ha furiously Happy, um, a funny book about horrible things by Jenny Lawson. I heard, you know, this is supposed to be good and all that, and I never read it. And that shocked me. I got this for 50 Got it perfect, and this thing's in basically new condition. I don't even think I don't think anybody's read it. That shocked me. Then I got "You Will Know Me" by Megan Abbott, and I gotta be honest, I have not read any of uh, any of her work. Me, I have not read not one of her books, and so this one's. I hope this one's a good one to start off with. 
but I am probably going to get more by her. I know I'm going to get um, some of the other ones that she did. It mentions three in the back, but I don't know if I'm going to get any of those or not. I think the Fever, I have that one saved. But um, I got this one for a dollar. And this one again is 50 cents. This one isn't actually new. But I got um, a Castle Mirror Mystery. It's called Changelings. And it's by Joe Bannister. I like any kind of mystery books. And I like how this one looked. It's got like groceries. St groceries and stuff on there. I just thought it looked kind of cool in shadow. I like any kind of mystery books. And I feel I'm not mistaken. This one's supposed to be Bert. Nope. Huh. I don't know. Um... Wait, previously published? I don't know if this is supposed to be a part of a series or not. I think this one is a part of a series, but there's only three in it. I think, because I looked up more about this author. And I think there's only three in this. I could be wrong. You know what? Let me look, okay? It'll just take me a minute. Wow, um, click this, because before it only mentioned three. Okay, um, no, I'm thinking there is eleven. There's eleven in this? No. I don't, hmm, this one's actually confusing me. Oh, shoot, no, don't. I'm going to go to a different um, website and see if I can find something easier. Let me see, Goodreads. Let me go to Goodreads. <clears throat> I know this isn't the first one. Okay. Saying there's seven in it. And this one is number seven. <laughs> this is the seventh one. Great. Um. 
I'm going to have to try to find at least the first one on Amazon. Okay. Then here's the ones I got for free. I got four for free. I got War and Remembrance by Herman Wook. I can't even pronounce that. And I think this is just about um I think it's something about Pearl Harbor because it keeps mentioning Pearl Harbor. I remember I heard something about this before, like a movie or something. They turned this into a movie. Um, it said Pearl Harbor to Hi Hiroshima. And it's about some, uh, it said something about romance too, so. if it, I think I watched the movie once, but it was like a long, long, long time ago. Well, I remember it's just basically about war and romance. <laughs> but it sounded interesting, so I decided to get it. Then I got... Um, Timothy's Game by Lawrence Sanders. And I think this is a mystery from what it sounded like. If I'm mistaken, this has something to do with... Uh, it just has something to do with war, too. I just said... And name. I'm assuming it has something. To do. It's a mystery. I know that much. That's the only reason I grabbed it. I love mysteries. Then I got this. The Ship Who Sank by Anne McCaffrey. Did I even mention who wrote that? Warren Sanders Jeffrey. Um, but uh, I think think this is sci-fi. I didn't actually read too much on this one, but it, all I read is like the first of like the first little bit it said Helva was born severely deformed, yet the electro encephalogram routinely administrated to a newborn showed that her mind was receptive and alert. Just it mentioned deformed and then some kind of thing, you know, I mean, it's interesting, that right there, I don't know what it was, but it made me just, you know, are they going to fix her or something, is that like some kind of new technology, they, they can fix people who are deformed before they're born, but if there's any more to this, tell me, because I don't know. Oh, this person's actually made a lot more. I'm going to have to look to see if she's made any more on this. i actually look it up right now. Why not? Because I think that looks that sounds like the first one in the series, though. I'll just go ahead. Yep, it's the first one in the series, which he... That way I can start it. <laughs> God, I wonder how many's in in this one. I hope I can get them all in that kind of a cover, because that's also what made me get it. I just love the cover. I know it's sci-fi, and I'm not a huge fan of sci-fi, but I'll give it a shot, you know. Oh my God, there's seven in it too. I'm just gonna save these that way. Um, if I want to get more, I can. If I'm mistaken, you can read. Um. That one that had seven, the uh, mystery one that had seven, you can read those like standalones. Characters go in and out, so it wouldn't really matter, but that's what I heard. I'll show you my last one that I got in a minute. I'm trying to go back so I can save the other one to the Castle Mirror series. Because I do want to try to get them all. If I like it. And then if I don't, I'll just unstar it. No problem. Okay. If you hear any howling or wolfing in the background, ignore it. It's just a game that's on here. 
And then I got um, the last one I got. It's a love inspired suspense novel, which I love all the love, you know, I love the love inspired books, but I've never seen the love inspi inspired suspense. At least I don't think I have. But this is large, larger print, which I didn't know about when I grabbed it, but it was free, so what the heck. Um, it says Man of Millbrook Lake. I hope this doesn't have too many in it. Ugh. It's probably going to make me look it up too. Three words. I bet you somebody already took that out. Yeah, somebody already took that out. Yep. But it's fine. It's Lakeside Peril by Le Lenora Wirth, and it's the minimal. Mill, Mill Brook Lake series. I'm actually look that up. See if I can find any of that too. Yeah, I don't think I got none of these. I got a lot of them, don't get me wrong, but I don't think I got not one of these. But uh, I'm looking at the first one right now. There's five in this series, and I got the fourth. This is number four. <sighs> holiday, her holiday protector. Okay, the first one is Lakeside Hero, her holiday protector. Lakeside Sweetheart, Lakeside Peril, and her fam her Lakeside family. So I might save them all. Because I do like these books. So it doesn't bother me none. These are all basically um, almost religiously based in them. That's all I got to show you right now. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm just making sure that I'm not forgetting anything. I don't think I am. But um, if I happen to get any more books, I will definitely tell you. Bye.